At the end of everything, hold on to anything is the tagline of Night in the Woods, an indie game made in 2017 by a developer group called Infinite Fall. It's a coming of age story where you play as an anthropomorphic cat named May, a college dropout that heads back to her hometown in an attempt to bring back her life that it once was. The first chapter of the game felt really slow to me, but I was in it for the long run, and the characters, dialogue, and just amazing looking scenes you get to experience really grew on me. The dialogue is well written, especially in parts where it really hits you the most. Like, never in my life has a game given me one hell of an existential crisis while playing it. I'm not really an analytical person who thinks too deeply into things, so I can't really give much of a fancy analysis that talks about mental health or philosophy, like some of these videos. But I'm pretty sure I could talk about how this game reassured a lot of things that have been going on in my mind right now, since this game deeply touches on the topics about growing up and trying to move on from your past life. As a person who's about to be an adult in a month from now, I'm usually scared of things will either stay the same or my life would change drastically. But this game reassures me that getting adjusted to adulthood isn't the same for everyone. It's a process that would take quite some time getting into. One day you feel like other shit and can't do anything about it and some days where you feel like going on knife fights and smashing light bulbs with a baseball bat. I don't know much about growing up since I'm mentally like a 12 year old but this game makes me know what my life would probably feel like in a few years from now. The characters in this game show that having responsibilities and the essence of just growing up do have rough patches. Angus with his parental issues, Greg's fear of losing Angus, B having to take over her mom's place in the family business causing her to shelve her dreams of College. And of course, may with her problems and not knowing what to do with her life. Remember that quote I said in the beginning of this video? At the end of everything, hold on to anything. Whenever I see video essays regarding this video game, they usually talk about what this quote actually means or what it means to them, so I might as well do the same thing. So I guess the meaning of it to me is to just cherish anything you hold value to when everything is coming to an end, or whenever you think a chapter of your life is coming to a close. I suppose this game made me appreciate more about the little things in life and just cherish everything I hold dear. So if you like games that have simplistic yet eye-catching graphics and is story rich, I suggest you should give this a shot. Even though I know a lot of people have played it already and it's been out since 2017, but hey, better late than never. If you already know this game and want to know more, you should really check out the in-depth videos about this, I'll link down below. And I know it's a short video, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like since it lets me know, and if you disagree, please let me know in the comments since YouTube loves to peg their creators by removing the dislike functionality. That's it for this week, stay safe and have a good one.